The Bureau of Statistics has released a detailed portrait of Australia's army of carers. They number in their millions and they're predominantly women. And as Norman Hermont reports, there's evidence they pay a high price for putting other people first. Hi, Dad. Helene Hercules is one of the hey. army of people who care for others in Australia. She's still a carer for her father, even after he moved to an aged care home in Melbourne this year. The carer's role hasn't finished, right? Oh, no, no. It's not a matter of, I can just forget about it. Because he's my father. There were 2.7 million carers in Australia in 2015, according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics. 850,000 were primary carers, helping with core activities such as mobility and communication. Of those, 68% were women. <laughs> Helene Hercules still <laughs> manages her that? father's financial affairs and visits regularly. It's you a role, he says, and, um, that provides vital reassurance. I am wanted, I am thought about, you know, and I'm, I'm never really totally alone. The profile of carers released by the ABS shows they often pay a price for their work in the home. Evan De Rosario juggles care responsibilities with study and work. It's not easy. Of primary carers, just 56% work. For non-carers, the number is 80%. I found a lot of times I've been like really stressed, a little bit anxious about a lot of the things that are going on in the family. But she and her sister have made it work. And her mother, who lives with severe arthritis and nerve damage, is thankful. The household wouldn't be able to function without the girls having a primary care role. Thank you. Just one of the millions of carers Australian households rely on. Norman Hermont, ABC News.